Hi, I'm Donna. I'm Kiwi. Welcome to the first cooking video for Healthy Meals on Big Wheels. Today, Kiwi and I are going to make English McMuffins uh, that are healthier for you and will save you money. Kiwi, what are the ingredients? There's English muffins, back bacon, egg whites, cheese, other spices, and salt and pepper, and eggs. Today we're going to be working with, this one in particular is a Hamilton Beach uh, egg McMuffin maker, and we have a larger model that we're going to be demonstrating with. But in your trucks there isn't a lot of room uh, for different cooking tools, but this is something that is more compact that you could use. And a lot of the trucks now have the inverters built in, so it, it is convenient as well. Okay, so we're at the machine now, and uh, in order to prepare it, you can see I'm just opening it up here, you want to make sure that you brush it lightly with a little bit of olive oil, uh, just so your egg does not stick. And you're going to be warming it up. It takes about three to four minutes to warm it up. You will notice on here there is a timer as well. So if you lose track of time, you're going to have a little timer. They don't all have that, but uh, it does come in convenient so your egg uh, cooks properly. Step one, after it's heated up, you're going to be lifting up the top level. Be careful, it's hot. You can see the heat coming from it. You put in the bottom part of the English muffin and then you're going to put on some cheese. And again, you're not using the processed cheese slices. Uh, you're eating a little bit of a, a good healthy cheese. Kiwi, do you want to put this? This is a Havarti cheese. You can put the Havarti cheese on that one. So we have a cheddar cheese. We have a Havarti cheese for some variety. And then if you're really liking some good protein, instead of having the fatty bacon, you can choose to have a back bacon. So we're just going to throw, and now these are pre-cooked. Again, if you want, and you're just making one English muffin, you can put the um, actual back bacon in here and cook it on the one side while you make the rest of your English muffin on the other, or pre-cook them in this if you don't have a frying pan. So once you've done that, we're going to close the top part and then we're going to create our egg on the top here so I'll give you an egg there Kiwi and let's throw the egg in so give it a good crack there and way to go Kiwi you're excellent at this we'll put the egg in there and just to kind of fill it out and make a good substantial egg you're going to take a little bit of egg white, and what I found really works is a couple tablespoons. I have a two tablespoon measuring here, so I'm just gonna fill that up. Now be careful, when you put the egg white in, you pour it in slowly, because if you do it too fast, it might run through the cracks in the side of the thing, but once it's kind of, the heat has taken hold of it, it's, there's not gonna be a problem. So we're going to, do you wanna put that one in there, Kiwi, for me? Just dump that in, and as you see, it's it's pretty straightforward. Now, some people, if you're on a low salt diet, you can use something like the Mrs. Dash, and and just put that on your egg. Or if you like the good old fashioned salt and pepper, do you want to put a little bit of salt and pepper on that one for me, Kiwi? Mm. Oh yeah, and we just have to remember with this crazy thing. Be careful because a lot of pepper can come out, right? And you want to put a little bit of salt on there? So you can see so far this this is this is pretty good. That's great. Thank you. That's awesome. So then we take the lid. Here I'll give you this one. And we put it right on top. Now remember, don't press it in, just set it lightly on top. And then you're going to take this and set it down again don't press it down just let it fall naturally if you press it down too much then you're going to have egg running everywhere and then we let it cook for about four minutes and on this one there's a timer so we'll set the timer for four minutes and go from there okay so again you see we have the finished product here so all you need to do is slide this to the side and see because we have greased it there's no absolutely no egg on there, 
and then you just push it through. Now again, be careful because this is hot and we will just put it on the plate and voila, you have the Egg McMuffin. And now for the taste test. 